and it's currently got some tenants in there. All right. You guys are yeah. quite an operation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually, uh, when you get tenants that don't pay rent and they're not paying rent, uh, they just like completely stop cooperating. Uh, but these people are actually pretty darn nice to the film crew, and they they let them in there, right? All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Thank you, man. Right. Right. Appreciate. <laughs> Welcome to the investment properties sale show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch tv giving it to you straight i love evictions y'all i love me the sweet 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 scent of a beautiful eviction in the morning right and i think we're gonna have to do uh an eviction here at this particular property but that eviction y'all is where the opportunity is for you, right? With real estate, someone's loss can be your gain, and that's what we have going on here because you're able to pretty much steal this property because there's some people living there that are stealing the rent from the landlord and they don't want to deal with it. 38 East Streeter Street, Toledo, 43608, okay? Now, that's a pretty nice house, for the price of $19,900, right? $19,900, okay? Uh, and what it should be renting for is $975 a month, okay? And it's currently got some tenants in there, all right? And, uh, you know, those tenants, they're no longer paying rent to their landlord. And instead of evicting them, their landlord uh, just wants to sell the property as is. They don't want to deal with it. Not a lot of people out there in this world uh, are going to wear a hoodie that says, I love evictions and talk to the sweet, sweet scent. Talk about the sweet, sweet scent of evictions and how great it is. OK, but for those few people out there that would wear this hoodie, just so you guys know, you could use promo code HWTV10 to get 10% off on this hoodie we also have this design uh in many other products hats uh t-shirts tank tops baby onesies nothing better than a holton wise tv i love eviction baby onesie except for perhaps the beach towel or the coffee mug or the tube sock, okay? You could support your love of evicting those dirty piece of shit tenants who steal from landlords by rocking some I Love Evictions attire and getting 10% off. HWTV10, click below or somewhere around the video. Now, this is the interesting part, though. This is actually the, the weird thing about this one, though, okay? If you notice, we have footage for you guys inside the house, right? I'm sure you've probably been watching some of that footage thus far in the video. I would imagine that's what my guys put up on the screen at some point, because why the hell wouldn't they, right? Because we're trying to sell you this here house, okay? That's like the totally weird thing, right? Usually, uh, when you get tenants that don't pay rent and they're not paying rent, uh, they just like completely stop cooperating uh, with the owner and the seller. And uh, they definitely don't cooperate with us when the seller tries to get uh, them to allow us to come in to film for them, okay? Uh, but these people are actually pretty darn nice to the film crew, and they, they let them in there, right? So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe if you buy it, uh, you could mend the fences, and, and, and maybe you could get them to start paying rent without evicting their asses. Me, personally, i just kick them the fuck out. Once you stop paying rent, that's it, son. You out! But, hey, it's up to you. They were um, supposed to be paying 600 a month, but then they stopped paying it several months ago. And like I said, the owner, uh, out-of-state investor, uh, doesn't have uh, a desire uh, to deal with the problems. She doesn't like evicting people, right? She would not wear this hoodie, so her loss is your gain. Uh, so she's like, screw it. Like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to go through the process. Just get rid of it. We're like, okay, no problem, man. Like 20K, people will buy the hell out of that thing because, like, you know, it should be worth, like, a hell of a lot more. Probably, like, double that at least. Uh, but, you know, if you don't want to deal with it, somebody will take that discount and, and take the problem off your hands. Now, as far as you guys buying this, okay? Uh, what we typically do uh, on tenant occupied properties, people make their offer contingent upon an inspection, and then we get the inspector in there uh, so you can do all your due diligence. Uh, today, with this particular property, I'm not really sure how it's going to go down, okay? Um, we have like two scenarios, right? That was the first one, right? You, normally, you have a cooperating paying tenant, 
We have you guys make your bids, sight unseen, but you get to do your due diligence. We make a contingent upon you getting in there and inspecting it. And if you're buying it with a loan, uh, you get your appraiser in there. Okay, that's one way we do things. The other way we do things uh, is in a situation where you have a non-compliant tenant. You have a squatter, okay? And when we have a squatter, which technically we do right now have a squatter, uh, the way we do it is, is yo, that's it. That's the deal. You're probably getting a huge steep discount. You got to make your offer sight unseen. And then um, it's going to be up to you and the property manager that you hire after you close the sale uh, to handle these people. OK. And by the way, guys, you need inspection referrals, property management referrals, contracting referrals, all that stuff for the Toledo market, Holton Wise has it, right? We have all those for you, right? If you need our curated list, lenders, all that stuff, uh, we have it for you. Send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. So uh, getting an eviction done and all that jazz and the repairs and the things like that, we got that all covered for you. We have the contacts to do that for you, okay? Uh, and you'd typically need to, you know, just buy sight unseen, roll the dice a little bit, and it would be kind of uh, unknown, right? You don't get to do much due diligence, okay? And that's how a normal squatter situation would go, right? In this case, it's like different, right? We have the normal squatter situation, but they're actually pretty nice people, despite being deadbeat pieces of shit. Uh, so... What we're going to do, I guess, is if you're interested in making the offer, you could either make it as is, you'll take it off the seller's hands completely sight unseen, or uh, if you want, you could just roll up on the house and you could give these folks a knock on their door uh, and see if they'll let you in. Let them know you might be buying the property and, uh, you know, if they don't want their asses to get booted out when you buy it, maybe they should let you in. I would I would say uh, if you want to do that, you can. Uh, there's nothing we can do to, like, force their hand to get you uh, in there, so it's going to be completely between you and them. Uh, normally, we don't like to encourage people to bother the tenants when we're selling a house for someone because, you know, that would just be rude. Uh, I mean, they're trying to live there and enjoy uh, their house, they have a right to quiet enjoyment. So I would never, ever on a paying tenant, ma paying tenant make a video encouraging you guys to like knock on their door and bother them and ask if you can inspect their house. But like, you know, these people aren't paying, so like, fuck them, right? Uh, so if you guys want to do that, you can. It's up to you. Uh, proceed with caution. You know, could get a little dicey, could get a little dangerous. So I'm not telling you you have to do that or you should do that. I'm just letting you know uh, that in our experiences, they're fairly nice to us and they did let us in. Uh, but that being said, they're still not paying, so they still technically are squatters, right? So we don't really have any control over them, and the seller owner of the property is not going um, to do anything. She's not going to uh, do anything. She's not going to evict them. She just wants out. That's why it's nineteen nine, right? So it's nineteen nine as is cash offers only. Uh, we're not going to accept any offers contingent on inspection. So if you want to try to go the route, of knocking on their door, making friends with these folks, and seeing if they will allow you to walk inside. You got to do all that crap prior uh, to this property going under contract, right? Because we're not going to do any contingencies based upon their behavior because despite them being nice to my film crew, uh, they are still and have still been stealing uh, from the owner. So, you know, we're not we're not tying it up for anything other than as is offers. But uh, in this particular situation versus a lot of other squatter situations, they just happen to be a little bit nicer than most dirty deadbeat thieves. So perhaps if you're nice to them, they will uh, build a rapport with you and you know, maybe they'll actually pay you when you take it over. Probably not, though, so you should probably plan on evicting their asses. And after you do, you're probably going to make a lot of money. And then you should take some of that money and click the notes below to buy this freaking hoodie, bro, because it's dope. So if all that sounds cool to you, you want to make your offers, send them to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Again, promo code for the hoodie, HWTV10, get 10% off. And guess what? If you use that promo code, you get 10% off the property too. I'm just fucking kidding. No, you don't. You don't get fucking shit. It's 19900 or more, depending on how many of you guys bid on. You guys really think I'd give you a promo code for 10% off a fucking house? Come on! Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. You okay? A lot of spider webs. A lot of spider webs. <laughs> oh. So. She didn't like going down there. I bet. I can see why. 
Hey, but there's a path now, so if you ever need to go down there, I took care of all the webs. Packed all of the cobwebs. Okay. All right, I think that's it for us. Thank you. Is that a room or is it just a... Oh, I went in there. You were already in that one. There's another bedroom in the front. Like I said, I can the pull the girls, girls out of there. Are they sleeping? No. Oh, okay. I put them in here when people come or something. I'll yeah. slide them in there. I got you. Right dressed? My light's on my bed. Huh? She boo -boo. This would be like two seconds. Yeah, this would be super fast. How are you? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Are you scared of the room a little bit? She tried straight. Oh, my God. Alright. I might not even need the light. Yeah, it looks it's pretty bright in here. Yeah. We'll save the battery. Yep. Box room. Okay. Don't throw them in here, dang it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just huh. had like an inch of like, I'm on a spider on me. <laughs> yeah, in the, we were in the basement. I go, is there a giant spider on my back? Oh I, my like, gosh. I could see something out of the corner of my eye. Was just, what was it? It was probably something from a web. Yeah. Just hanging on him. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Appreciate All right. you. Have a good day. I will. Oh my goodness. Thank you. We need a new camera. This one's got bugs. It's got spiders. It's got spiders. It's got bugs inside the camera. Oh man. All good. Hopefully they can see. What's that? I said hopefully they can see. I was using this and the yeah. thing to swat down the spider webs. You can definitely tell she don't like going down there. She won't go down there. I had it all, you know, I had it all clean and painted. And... All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, you so go. much. Thank you, man. Right. 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 You guys are yeah. quite an operation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, like I said, I was using like a hammer just all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. You can still see there's some on there. Nowhere near as bad as the light, though. Yeah, yeah. that light, it looks like you used it to... I did. did. Clear the webs. <laughs> I yeah. did. All right. Well, yeah. that was just the basement, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. The rest of it was yeah, fine. Rest of it was fine. Yeah. But right. as far as basements like go, stuff. that's not even top 10. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.